Good morning. Hey, baby. Hey, darling. <laughs> I just cut Roy's hair, so he was taking the hair out, and we getting things cleaned up. So uh, I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry. Thank you for joining me this morning. And uh, I had this little piece of pork loin in the freezer. I used some the other day. I showed you a couple of ways that I used it. And I thought that I would try a new way. It's beautiful. Look at all that lean meat. It's a beautiful little piece of meat. And uh, I thought I would do like pork uh, loin strips. You have steak. I've seen people do steak strips, uh, chicken tenders. I've done chicken strips, chicken tenders, but I've never done it with the pork loin. Now, I've fried pork chops out of it, but I've never done the little strips, and I just thought it would be fun. So I'm cutting this. It's still semi-frozen, which makes it easier to cut when it's that way. So I'm just going to cut it like a half an inch thick. Then, I'm going to cut it in half this way, which makes it just little, little strips. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to get about probably six or seven out of this today. Just enough for us to have for lunch and for supper. I'm getting eight. When it's frozen like this, it's cold, but it sure does cut better. If you've ever cut uh, chicken, like chicken breast, it cuts much better if you put it in the freezer and let it stay for like 30 minutes and then take it out and try to just cut it up. It cuts much better because it's really cold. Okay. All right. Now. I've got eight, really. This one is a little, that, I'm going to cut that one again. That was on the bigger end, so, um, yeah. That one was a little bit too big, a little bit bigger than I want. Not too big, but bigger than I wanted. That's kind of like I want it, right there. You see that? All right. I'm putting in my bowl, in my dish right here. I think I'm going to cut this one again because I want them in little strips like that. Okay. Um, these are okay. I think I'm going to cut this one again. I'm ending up with more than I thought I would. All right. I'll put this in my sink. Now, I've got a little bowl full of strips, pork loin strips here. Let me wash my hands off. All right. Now, I'm going to season these, and I'm going to put them in the, uh, in the uh, refrigerator for about an hour because I'm going to put them, uh, some buttermilk over them. Let me put them in here. All right. This is whole buttermilk. Love whole buttermilk. Uh, let me get me a fork. Now, since I want a thicker crust on these, if they were just pork chops, I would just put a little buttermilk on them, dredge them in my gluten-free flour. But these are tender, so I want a little bit more crust on them. So I'm going to soak them in egg and buttermilk because when you use gluten-free flour, it doesn't make as thick, bigger, a thicker crust as your uh, regular wheat flour does. And uh, so I'm putting an egg to help that gluten-free flour stick to it better. Okay. Stir that up. Now, to this we're adding onion powder probably a fourth of a teaspoon maybe a half a teaspoon because when this is soaking i want i want it to have all the spices in it all right this is garlic fourth or a half just up to you now this is cayenne pepper 
I love putting a little cayenne pepper when I fry things like chicken tenders and and the kids love it too. I don't put so much that it's real um, spicy, but I do put just a little bit so you you can tell it's there. And this is paprika, and that's about a half a teaspoon. All right, stir all this up good. Now I got to get my salt and pepper. Uh, probably half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of salt. Now that was about a quarter of each. So it's about a quarter of each of my spices in my buttermilk mixture and egg mixture here. Okay. Now I'm going to salt and pepper my little strips just a little bit, not much, because I've got so much in here. All right. Like I say, they're still a little bit frozen, but as they sit in the refrigerator for an hour in here, then they will they'll thaw out. Okay. Now I'm just going to put my strips down in here, toss them about, toss them around, get them coated really well, and then about 30 minutes I'll come in and I'll toss them again just to make sure that they're coated well. And the buttermilk and egg, the buttermilk is going to tenderize the um, the pork just a little bit. Of course, pork loin is already really tender. So, okay. Wash my hands. That's what it looks like right there. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to put it in the... Uh, it in the refrigerator for an hour well it's just uh, 9 30 now for about an hour and a half uh, the longer it stays in there the better uh, the better it is so I'm gonna cover it put it in the refrigerator for about an hour and a half and then when I start to cook it I'm gonna cook it in my little fry daddy here when I do chicken tenders, chicken fingers, chicken chunks, uh, anything like that, I like to deep fry it. And I have this little fry daddy. I've had it probably, I don't know, 10 years. I've got a bigger one that's called a fry granddaddy. It's two or three times as big as this one. And when I like a fry chicken and I'm doing it for the whole family, I use it. But, uh, but this is what I like to use. You can do it in a skillet on top of the stove, but I just like that because it the whole thing submerses it um, and it fries it quick. I fry it on 350. It fries it. I fry these in five minutes and they're done. So it's just, to me, it's easier. I don't have to turn them and make sure that, you know, the burner is hot enough or not hot. The grease is not hot enough. That has a thermostat on it. It's really easy. So, okay, we're back. It's been about an hour and a half. And um, my little pork loin strips have been soaking in buttermilk. I've got my little uh, fry daddy on 350 here. And it's about to come up to temp. So I'm just going to take and coat these really well. In my gluten-free flour. Now I have no seasonings in my flour because I put so much in my buttermilk. A lot of times I will season my flour, but I didn't today because I already have, like I say, I think there's enough on the strips that I didn't need to do that. So, all right. And I just dredge them in my flour real, really well. And I'm going to cook about four or five at the time. Um, I think my flour, my grease. is So. 
okay and i've got some green beans here that uh, we got out of the garden that i'm stir frying and the way i do mine fresh green beans out of the garden i will put them in my skillet with a little olive oil and just a little butter i will cook them with the lid on it for about uh, 15 minutes just to tender them then i'll take the lid off turn them up uh, on medium high and just kind of brown them a little bit let them stir fry a little bit my light hasn't gone out but i know this is ready yeah it's hot enough so i'm gonna put four in here i could put more but i don't want to crowd them I want them to have plenty of room to roll around and cook in there. And uh, my green beans are doing really well. I just turned them on just before I uh, came on with this. So uh, these are going to cook five minutes. I'll time them on with my watch. Okay. It's been five minutes, and you can always tell when you're deep frying something, when you're deep frying things, it'll be frying real hard, and then all of a sudden you'll hear it'll just kind of calm down, and your grease won't be frying as hard. And that's how you can tell when you're deep frying when it starts getting done. Okay, now I have battered the rest of them, and I've got them back here and i'm just like i say i'm doing four at the time just so they'll have plenty of room and my green beans are still cooking be back in a minute okay i didn't show you taking up my second batch but uh i cooked it in three batches and my third one is ready and i want to show you how pretty these pork loin strips are. I love frying in my little fry daddy. It does such a good job. And I put them on a rack, on a pan, and I drain them. Look at that. <laughs> Doesn't that look good enough to eat? It surely does. And I'm fixing to fry some squash in this same grease. And this is my stir fry green beans. They're done. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do squash because I've shown you before. Uh, but I just cut them up, season them, dip them in gluten-free flour and plain cornmeal, and I deep fry them. So when everything gets done, we'll come back and I will uh, we'll taste of it and show you what a good-looking lunch Roy and I are going to have. Okay. Roy and I are about to eat. This is my fried squash and my pork loin uh, strips. And this is my stir fried green beans. The green beans and squash came out of the garden. And Roy is about to fix his plate and he's going to taste of it for us. Do you have a fork, honey? Yeah. All right, let me get you a fork. Let me tell you, this woman knows they can't hear me. So yeah, they can. They can. Yeah, of course they can. Okay, this woman knows how to cook green beans. But now. you got to talk a little louder. If you don't know how to cook <laughs> green beans, you really need to learn how she cooks green beans. Oh, and these things too. The fried squash, so oh. good. I've shown y'all before. But, and together, mm. fried squash, green beans, mm. and pork. And I mm. love the way she has uh, started doing the, the strips. Mm -hmm. They really are good. They're wonderful for children. They're easy to eat. These fried squash. Oh, my. Mm. And uh, a little bit of um, salad dressing. Ranch salad dressing mm -hmm. with these is absolutely great. Delicious. Yep. I might as well get some more of these squash. <laughs> I got some more of my fryer back here cooking. So I'll, mm -hmm. I'll do away with them at lunch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I know it's going to be delicious. 
I know her green beans. <clears throat> Taste of the strips, that's really what the video is all about. Oh, the strips? Uh huh. It's the pork loin. Yeah. You want me to eat a whole pork strip loin. right in front no, of everybody? No, just a bite. <laughs> They are so tender and so moist. When you deep fry them like that, and I didn't tell y'all, but when they start getting done, they float. They start floating. That's another way you can tell. Not just the grease, the subsiding and in the way you hear it fry, but they also will start floating. So this isn't necessary, but if you like a sauce, it's really good on the pork strips. Of course, you might like honey, or you might not like anything. Honey. Good, isn't it? The way you started doing pork mm -hmm. loins. It's delicious. It's really nice. And I can taste a little bit of your pepper in there. The little cayenne? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's mm. this is really good. And I sprinkle a little cayenne on my squash. We just like it. You just want to have it as a background, not not mm -hmm. the main taste, but just a little background hint. Mm. Okay. Thank y'all for joining me Did today. Good. Give me a thumbs up. Yeah. Woo! I just got a little of that cayenne pepper on that on that pork loin mm. strip. Man, that was good. Thank y'all for joining me today. Share this video. Subscribe. Hit the little notification bell. Healthy, <clears throat> gracious, gluten free. So no carb. Remember, food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. Put deliciousness back, back in healthy, healthy food. food. Love y'all. See you next time.